Hello and welcome back to the Pinnacle Esports channel. Today we're going to be bringing you another episode of Pinnacle Pointers, the show where we talk to you about who you should pick and who you should avoid for the upcoming HLTV Fantasy League. So the event coming up is I Am Dallas and it's a bit of an odd one. We've had a few teams drop out, VP being one of them, and there's a few substitutions coming in. Dexter has decided not to attend the event and uh, you've also got Forrest stepping in for Crims and I think a lot of people are getting rid of all analytical thinking and just chucking Forrest in the team because well nostalgia and you know he's just one of the most loved players to have touched the game so Forrest is certainly in a lot of people's teams we're going to keep him out of this video because it would be wrong to put all of the bias into saying pick Forrest um, especially as an NIP fan but instead we're going to go down a different route and I've got the jersey on uh, for Liquid. So let's go with my first pick, which is going to be Nitro. And I know there might be a lot of hesitation for this one, but Nitro up until I think the playoffs of Blast, uh, the Blast Paris Major, had a 1.07 rating. And it's not super high, you know, it's not up there with the likes of Zywu and what Emo were able to actually put out. But that's not what you're looking for with a player who you can purchase for 182,000. If your kinder is going to continue iGelling going into Dallas, then Nitro is definitely a player that you can get a lot of these differential points on. Someone that people might not pick. Um, but if, if you know, Liquid <laughs> Liquid are another tough team to, to pick out at the minute of how well they're actually going to do. They face Astralis in the first round, and that could be tough. But... That being said, I think that Nitro for 182,000, he's a very good price. And if he isn't iGelling, and you can see that he is actually being able to focus on just playing the game, then for that price, he can get you points. And he's not going not gonna to skyrocket your points up. He's not going to do like what Zywu does, but he will get you points and hopefully not lose you any. So for a good price to be able to afford someone like Starvin or Nico. You know, these the problem we've got at the minute is a lot of these players who are going to get you lots of points are very expensive, so you have to make that sacrifice. And I think Nitro is one of those players where you can make less of that sacrifice in terms of points. You know, he's not going to lose you as many as Carrigan or Hooksy will at the minute. So Nitro is going to be my pick for that. I think there's a few options that you can go for um, in terms of picks, but if we're going to be trying to think about players that can make a difference to your team and actually push boost you up i think nitro is the one now my player to avoid is going to be fascia and fascia is a player who just doesn't really put up a good rating and i don't think Fnatic should be doing well at this event they play mouse in the first round and mouse had a horrendous horrendous major they didn't win a game and I I just don't know how they're going to look going into I Am Dallas. They've had a lot of time to prep and I also don't know how Fnatic are going to go in. We spoke about Fnatic in some of our videos around the Blast Major and kind of how their run to the Major into the Legend stage and then, you know, actually whilst playing in their Legend stage. It just wasn't really as... Uh, how you say I right, hard fought I'm, I'm not really sure how to put it without um you know trying to put down all of their hard work that they've put in to go into the event but if you look at some of the matches I mean a first round match of G2 and Vitality and then Fnatic beat NIP which uh probably shouldn't have happened but um, I think the only win of note that you could say for Fnatic is the G2 one which is impressive but besides that, they didn't really play anyone of, you know, like uh, in a in a decent position on the world rankings. So it's tough to kind of put Fnatic in a good spot of, of like who they can beat because I don't know how they're going to look. Brandon was saying um, in our video that we did that he's uh, he's worried that they have hit their peak. Fnatic right now, they're looking a little bit shaky. They're looking a little bit worse for wear and i'm kind of worried that we've kind of hit the potential of this team and we're now on the downward trajectory rather than an upwards and if they've hit their peak then you know what what can what more can they do other than uh, look to make some changes so i'm worried about how Fnatic are going to do they're not playing with their full lineup and it's not worth picking a player on the team that doesn't usually perform well 
um, if the team isn't going to go very far or perform very well. So you're going to be noticing that Danny isn't able to be here this week. Luckily for him, he's in Cyprus enjoying his holiday. Um, so we're going to be looking at some ever expert picks. So the first one, without much surprise, is going to be JKS again. 210,000, the second highest performing player on G2 at the last Paris Major. And that's considering they didn't do very well. And he still managed to put up, I think it was a 1.14 rating. So yeah, JKS is definitely a good pick. They also have a very nice run. Um, where we're talking about teams that have stand-ins and teams that might not do very well. So they play nouns in the first round, which they should win. And then I think the other option for them to go into the second game is possibly OG, who are without Dexter, as mentioned previously in uh, the start of this video. And if they're without Dexter, it's tough to really say how well OG are going to do. They just lost to Astralis uh, just before recording this. So yeah, I'm really unsure how OG are going to do. But G2 should do well. You know, they're going to be fired up. They want to prove that what happened at the Major was a fluke. Them going out in, in such a, you know, they, they just didn't perform well. And they don't want that to be what they're remembered for as the end of CSGO is approaching. So, yeah, if they want to if they want to prove it, Dallas is a good place to start. Um, especially as, you know, it's not going to be the last big event of CSGO. you still got Cologne coming up after the player break. But I think Dallas is going to be a spot where they need to perform well and show the, what this team can do. Because they were looking like one of the favorites going into the major. I certainly had them down as the team that could have won it. And yeah, they just they they couldn't seem to uh, to do it under the pressure. And the player to avoid for our experts is Nilan. So EG come into this event as the lowest rated team. And it's not, it's not really surprising. Recently, they were playing in a few cash cups, and I believe I might be wrong on this, but I believe the team that one that they lost to in one of these didn't have a rank at the time that they were playing them, so they managed to lose to an unranked team. Now, it, it, there is the argument that playing against the team, you know, that don't really have any, just any like notes on on um, the scene. You know, if a team, you can't really do your research on them, you can't counter strap them. There's that kind of argument, but at the same time, they should have the firepower on this roster to actually just beat these teams, and they didn't. So I'm worried about how they're going to do here. And yeah, I think Nealon is, as much as he was spoken about as being one of these IGLs that was doing a lot of fragging, since he, he can't find any success at all, he is now going to be one of the players that you probably should avoid. You know, if the rest of his stars on this team can't find any form, then why should the IGL be able to? It's it's a tough one for, for EG. And um, yeah, I don't think many people will see them improving. Yeah, so if, you, if you're if you going to avoid a player, probably just anyone on the EG lineup. It would be a massive shock to everybody if they went and performed well and upset any of the teams at the, at the event. So yeah, avoid EG players, but Nilan is the specific one. So as always, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and yes, let us know what you're going to be picking for your team down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.